my little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 City Living. So if you're curious as to what has Juniper up at 2.30 in La Manana, I am about to tell you the three main reasons. Numero uno, Cora. She's a little bit of a hoochie mama. Obviously, she has no problem hooking up with whoever she so damn well pleases. It could be Salem for all we know. I have no idea. But she woke up both June and Pace with her little shenanigans. And to be honest, things went down in the hallway of the Spice District. Let me just tell you, like, catty freaking emotions were arising. I don't know what was going on. I was kind of confused, concerned. Anyway, Cora, she had a moment. I don't know if she was off of those herbs or what she was doing, but she was definitely getting a little sassy with June. Then I also totally forgot that, uh, <laughs> what are you going to go do? You're going to go chat with Fatima. You're going to go chat with the raccoon. I totally freaking forgot that, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. This right here. Yeah, this whole scenario. Mm -hmm. We live in an apartment that is considered um, a piece of history in the spice market, right? And uh, <laughs> so she ended up not only getting scared by her best friend neighbor, she also ended up being in a situation where she was face to face with this bitch over here, Greta Rosea. Now, she's not going to tell Pace that she's seeing ghosts because honestly, I think Pace will be like, you know what? Let's just put a pause on this whole moving in thing because you were literally freaking crazy to make matters worse <laughs> we got a text message from penny mother pizzazz and uh what it regards is our brother i guess he called her um not even straight up called her but like went to her place of business went to her house and was begging for her back begging like on his hands and knees begging and uh from what the text message entailed he was looking a little rugged um, he just wasn't looking good. He, he had grown out his scruff and his hair was all messed up. And if we all know Brett, we know that that ish is literally harder than the Tin Man. Like, his hair don't move. It is it is GTL all day. Like, Pauly D status, okay? <laughs> so anyway, just a lot of weird things are going on. And June just kind of feels like everybody is trying to kill her vibe. So the header of the text message was SOS. And that used to be her and Penny's thing. Um, so I really don't know what is going to be happening right now. June is actually super duper freaking hungry. Um, and she's just kind of weirded out. She doesn't want to be in this apartment anymore. But of course, um, Pace and her have discussed that they are going to save a little bit more money, um, until, you know, the timing is right. Also, let's just talk about me for a second. I am so winded. Like, let me tell you, girl, like I am that person who has no stamina whatsoever freaking ever. And I am feeling it, y'all. I am so feeling it. I'm like, <sighs> I feel like I just did one of those 90s workout, like eight minute abs, me right now. Anyway, so June is up. She's just kind of rummaging around the apartment, playing some video games. And yes, we went back and got that rose that is totally giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes right now. Um, what else can I go ahead and address? You guys were asking me if she's not still on birth control. I will officially announce that Juniper is no longer taking it. So the risk, well, <laughs> it's all ours. Anyway, is there no lights in Pace's bathroom? I think one of his bulbs went out, so we might need to actually turn it on. No. Okay, so right now, um, the power, well, not the power, but like some of the lights are off, I guess, because he's still sleeping. And she keeps trying to go into this room and um, she keeps trying to like watch this TV while he's like resting. She's so damn inconsiderate. So they're still getting used to like living together and all that kind of fun stuff. It is definitely, <laughs> she's so rude. Look at him. Oh, uh, well, he had a good pee anyway. Um, it's, 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 it's hard, you know, like, especially when you are so used to living by yourself. And then all of a sudden, oh, that is so sweet. And all of a sudden, you know, you guys are, like, thrown together. And you live two different freaking lifestyles. It's going to, it's bound to happen. Um, I'm surprised that they haven't buttoned any heads yet. Anyway. Um, let me go and see what she needs to do in terms of her job. She's actually going to be working in about five hours. I do think if we could, uh, we could do a little bit of writing. We're actually going to go and resume our book, Pace Yourself. And uh, speaking of Pace, he is currently peeing like a champion or taking a dump like one. I really don't know. He also wants to kiss Juniper and let me guess, research vampires because they all do. Like, what is this? I don't even know. He also needs to go to work in about three hours. I was going to have June make him some uh, spinach Frida, but it looks like she's kind of busy. So he's going to grab himself a cup of coffee 
And I guess we'll just do something kind of easy this morning. We're going to grab, I think, a bowl of cereal and call it good. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just so freaking confused with this whole thing. I don't know what happened to Brett, why he would want Penny back and why he would be asking for money. Because he was dating that one girl. And then also, um, he hasn't been seeing Daxton at all. So I don't know if he's, like, in trouble or he's just being Brett. Because, like, let's be honest, he's not the most consistent person ever. But I guess we'll have to go ahead and find out. But, um... First things first, we definitely have to like put in our work day and then we'll just worry about all the other BS a little bit later. So we do have work in about two hours and we need to actively partake in the day. Uh, I wasn't going to go with Pace, um, but it looks like he just needs me to hold his hand just one more time. So we'll go ahead and do that. He is feeling really, really, really good this morning though, even though um, their sleep was definitely broken. But we're going to come over and give her that bechito just because he is going to be leaving soon. And I know that every time she's like trying to focus and work, we're constantly bugging her and that is like something she's not used to she's like used to being able to have like that solitary moment you know anyways let's go ahead and do that what is he doing <laughs> he's so freaking cute like look at him just staring off into space oh what pace mm. oh my god seriously i got a good screen grab earlier of him making it mm -hmm. i'll post that shiz on twitter all right anyway we're gonna let them go ahead and what is she doing <laughs> she her little tatas a free ball and old pace but be careful we're about to smack him in the face like silly putty girl let me tell you it ain't even no joke all right so what is he doing he's listening to her erratic stories i don't know she's actually in a really good freaking mood considering um you know but i don't really think she's trying to let you know the things that are going on with her brother face her um i think she's just trying to enjoy the moment she's trying to enjoy this like honeymoon vibe that she's getting from moving in Pace also wants to give the apartment key to somebody, and he would like to buy himself a bubble blower. <laughs> One of the things Pace was going to buy June, I have no idea where we're going to stick it, but he is going to buy her a cupcake machine. He knows that she loves cupcakes, and he's been really hard on her with the whole, like, whipping her body into shape kind of thing, but he is going to. He's going to buy her a cupcake machine. I think that'll be so cute. Anyway, we're going to have June do a little morning run, um, trying to get her... Whoa! Hello, Jeff! Just kidding. I did not tell them to do any spontaneous woohoo, but the lovebirds just couldn't keep the paws off each other. So what is this going on? Is this happening to you in your game? Because this is some spontaneousness to a whole nother level. And uh, I did just tell you she's off her birth control tonight. Oh my god. And I have risky woohoo installed. I can't even keep these sims. Like, you know, I just, I gotta keep my eyes on them. Okay, duty calls. The world is a never-ending cesspool of grimy crime. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have Pace put in his third day of work. Hopefully, we will be a little more successful than we were yesterday because it was a show, let me tell you. Training day number two, train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready for your own case. Uh, first, it's time to get out and into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or a hardened authority figure. Do you guys think Pace would be like a hard culito? Which means, you know, <laughs> but. Well, do you think he would be more of a softy? Let me know in the comments. After that, you'll get a you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Good, a move on, rookie. Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay, so we need to go on patrol first thing in the morning. Holy crap! So let's go do a little bit of that, and well, let's go prove ourselves. I mean, we're rookie after all, right? So <laughs> we got a little, we got a little uh, hustling to do. Anyways, I feel like I'm having contractions right now. What's going on? This hurts. <laughs> I also feel like I'm hearing things. That whole ghost situation at Pace's place got me feeling a certain type of way, let me tell you. And it is also 10.30, so I am feeling all sorts of, like, just lunatic -y. It's weird. Okay. When an officer is on pat patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Uh, talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. And if anyone is littering or fighting, issue a citation and make sure they obey the law. I am not even kidding you. I am literally having a contraction right now. 
in the middle of this video. I feel like I'm going to piss my pants. All right, so what is he doing right now? He is officially starting some trouble himself. He's getting sassy with Mr. Shingo Shizuki, uh, the mixologist. But we, are, we need to chat with the civilians, Pace, not freaking harass them. So what I'm going to do is I'm – oh, my God. Like, seriously, he literally woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. But I think it is the vibe that he's getting from this mixologist. I can guarantee you he probably doesn't have – um, his, his liquor license. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's got Pace feeling, feeling a little angry. So anyway, let's go ahead and ask him about his career. We need to issue a citation. So I need to make sure that we are paying attention to all of the, um, all of the, 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 the show. Oh, 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 we found somebody. Okay. 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 We got somebody. They're over here having a fight. I thought that was Brett, but it's not. All right. So what we need to do is we need to come over here and issue a citation to this chick because I'm pretty sure she is the troublemaker. I mean, doesn't that hat just speak? levels of mischievousness i think so not to mention pace did not get a shower in this morning so he is not only going to issue citations but he's going to be officially burning some damn nose hairs all right so june is getting her morning notification we're just going to send her into work and um yeah, we're not going to even worry about her. So these two have gotten in some sort of altercation. I'm not exactly sure what is going on, but this girl is getting written up. We're not playing any games. I personally think he is going to be a hard butt. Like, that's literally what I think he is going to do. Um, and let's go and issue another citation to this guy because he was also actively partaking. I mean, granted, he does look like a giant snap pea in that outfit. But, hey, you know what? Nobody's getting off that easy. <laughs> Oh my God, this dude looks like Mr. Rogers. Why would we issue him a citation? Are we just issuing random citations to people we don't even know like what they're doing wrong? Oh, I didn't get to. Damn it. Okay, I would have loved to see what happened. He's like probably like, why are you issuing me anything? Um, we do need to chat with civilians, but the problem is, is that there's no more civilians to chat with. Uh, oh, okay. What about this guy over here? Let's come and give a friendly introduction over to Aisha and Juniper looks like she is off work. Um, she also texts Pace and let him know that she loves him. Oh my god, <laughs> can we just not have any of these problems? Seriously, like Brat needs to grow up. Like June is doing a really good job of getting her crap together and moving on with her life, but yet we've got Brat constantly raining on her freaking parade. Like somebody, please, like <laughs> just take him away. All right, um, let's see. What we can do, we can discuss our interests with him. I'm trying to chat with him. Oh my God, there's another freaking fight breaking out. Like seriously, these people are psychotic. Um, I am trying really, really hard to figure out if I can chat with civilians and not have any issue. But like, meanwhile, there's a fight going out down here and we're not even paying any attention to it. So I'm gonna go and issue another citation. I swear this must be quota month because if it was, Pace would be making so much freaking money right now. Um, or at the end of the month, I think it's quota. I don't remember. But anyway, we're going to go and we are going to issue another citation. I'm trying to chat with civilians. Uh, Doesn't seem to be happening. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and go back to the police station and uh, get a shower too because <laughs> we are freaking, we are turning the grass brown. Like not even kidding. It is, it is pretty bad right now. Um, I wonder if this. I, I don't know. I just, like, thought, you know how, like, last year, just total random note how EA had, like, this little egg hunt? I wonder if they're doing it this year. I don't think so, though. I just thought about that for some reason, like, Easter popped into my head. I don't know what's going on. Um, Probably the freaking peeps and the chocolate bunnies. Oh, my God. Do you ever feel bad when you eat the chocolate bunnies? Like, do you get one and then you're just like, I can't eat him because he's too cute? And then he, like, turns white because he's been sitting so long? Me. <laughs> But give me a stack of peeps, though. I don't feel bad at all ripping the heads off. I don't know. That's just me. All right. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin AP, APB. Well, you have enough blah, 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 basically. We need to um, issue an APB. So let's go over here and do that. Yes, you guys are going to have to deal with, you know, Wheezy Jen for a little bit. You guys can totally, like, give me a super duper cute pregnancy nickname. Because the next, like, four weeks. 
<laughs> you're gonna have this lovely mess. I love it. Okay, so I totally didn't screw up. Yay! I was about to smack myself. All points bulletin, a suspect fitting the APP description has been spotted in the area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the suspect. Use a notebook to review your sus- We haven't even gotten that many clues. Are you kidding? Uh, before you make an arrest, if you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record and then we cannot mess up. Like seriously, we can't, we're at the bar. Of course, this is so fitting. All right, so let's pull up his little handy dandy notebook here. And we've got the suspect is wearing shorts, he's a male, he has brown hair, and he is also wearing a jacket. Now, <laughs> okay, do we see anybody wearing shorts? Oh, it looks like it's this dude over here, Kabir. All right, so we are going to ask him about the suspect. Now, the way to make yourself super duper guilty is to pretend like you don't know anything. So this is going to be very interesting to see what he has to say because he's the only, wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold on. What color hair does he have though? He has brown hair. I'm pretty sure that this hair looks black to me. All right, so it probably isn't him. Ooh, that's some good trickery right there. This dude has brown hair. <gasps> Brett Thurston? Could you be? Oh my God, he did let himself go. He really did. He's at the bar. Shouldn't you be at work? Um, This is very... <laughs> Peculiar and super out of character. I know we are currently trying to arrest a suspect, but um, I'm going to go over here and I am going to, I guess, see where, like, why isn't he at work? So we'll ask him about his career. This is very, very suspicious. Now, he isn't wearing shorts, but he is wearing, he's, he's, dan I'm a really, I'm, I'm, I'm a really confused person right now. Like, seriously, let's just go ahead and take a picture of the shenanigans because, like, meanwhile, I'm at work and Brett's at a bar. This is very strange. And he's, like, flirting with some girl that kind of looks like Penny, but it's not, Anyway, we need to arrest our suspect, but uh, I'm going to have him go and ask Brett about his career. I'm like, why isn't he at work right now? No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but um, oh my God. Brett is unemployed and June hasn't even told Pace about the text messages or Brett needing help or anything like that. Um, okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to, I mean, his hair is black, but he does fit the description. I'm kind of concerned. I really am. And you are drinking on the job, Pace Foreman. Oh my goodness. You are a rookie after all. Um, okay, so I don't see anybody else that fits the description other than this dude. So, I mean, although his hair says that, he, I'm going to arrest him. <laughs> we might make a mistake, but we are going to arrest Mr. Kabir and see if, wait, You've lost a job performance for trying to arrest someone that doesn't match the... I knew it! I knew it! You've made a mistake. Get your facts straight before arresting somebody. Are you freaking kidding me? Clean out spoiled food. No, I know it wasn't him, but I wasn't certain because there's nobody else around. I mean, I thought maybe, like, the hair was a glitch, you know? Like, maybe I made a mistake that way, but literally, you guys, there is nobody else here that fits the description. Um, but I guess maybe they could be just about anywhere. They don't necessarily have to be on that lot. So I've come to find, <laughs> this is a lot harder than you would think it is, especially when you have all these like expansion packs. I don't see anybody that fits the, um, the criteria. I really, really don't. Brett doesn't fit because he's not wearing shorts. This dude kind of looks like he could work. But he's not wearing shorts either. Um, okay, you know what? Let's see if we can ask more people about the suspect because we are going to be getting off of work very shortly and it doesn't appear to us that... Um, okay, isn't that her right here? You said male. Male. Okay, wearing shorts, male. Brown hair, wearing a jacket. All right, you know what? This is freaking ridiculous. Goodbye. <laughs> um, all right, well, I don't see this, this, this person, so... Unfortunately, we weren't able to make our arrest. So flipping annoying, I know. Um, so we're going to go back home, I guess, or go back to the patrol station. And I promise you, I don't know how many more times we're going to be going with Pace. I think he might get fired. <laughs> He's just not, it's just not his thing. He really wanted to pursue his dream, you guys. But he's coming to find out that it's just not working out for him. So... He's had a really, really bad day. He's going to tell his boss that he's sick and he's going to actually go and leave work early. <laughs> Swear to God. I mean, he really wants this to work, but for some reason, and I guess it doesn't work for everybody, he's just not getting it. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see how it all works out. And you guys can give me words of advice if you think this is 
for pace or it's not or indifferent. It totally doesn't matter. So anyways, he's come home early and he's going to go and jump into the shower. Actually, you know what? Let's have him go and take a bubble bath to kind of decompress a little bit. He's going to express his, his woes with June and he doesn't want to disappoint her though because she's totally rooting for him. Like how amazing. But for once, like, you know, maybe he isn't cut out to pursue his dreams poor guy <laughs> I feel really really bad actually for him because I know how bad he wanted this so June should be coming home just in a few short moments yay look at her she actually pulled in 1380 damn dollars and Pace ew you took a bath and then you took a dump that's a little backwards but anyways she's gonna come in and uh, she's going to love on her man, of course. So excited to finally be home and see him, as you can imagine. He's really excited to see her, too. He is a little bummed out about the day that he's had, but he's going to try to not let it bother her. Um, I don't know if he's going to stick with the job or not. You guys can let me know what you think. I don't know. I really don't. But anyway, she's just happy to see him and be feeling be feeling feeling like normal for once anyway uh we should ask him about his day and see if he ends up telling he <laughs> could telling the telling spilling the beans and probably even i wonder if he would mention anything about brett i don't think that he would because he knows that he doesn't have a job and he knows that he looks like crap but the thing is is what happened what happened to brett like there, something must have happened and I don't know if we're going to be able to see Penny today to talk to her about it um, but it might end up happening in the next part so anyway she's asking him about how work was and everything like that and he's just smiling and saying oh yeah I got off early like <laughs> no big deal um, she's just she's just chatting it up being like such a wifey uh, anyway I want to see if she can take a pregnancy test oh my god okay I'm so scared um, she's been feeling a little off all day at work but it literally could be nothing. It could just be like that time of the month or whatever. <laughs> TMI. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. So she isn't pregnant, but she is still feeling sad. I wouldn't say she's actively trying to get pregnant or anything because I feel like I want them to enjoy their, you know, singletude for a little while. But she is kind of sad about it. I mean, we've already talked about that several times over. I'm going to let her go ahead and take a quick nap. That is so good because Pace honestly just needs a moment to kind of be by himself and just deal so Sahara Carlton uh congrats I heard you got a promotion Ooh, I think dinner at the Villa Bonavine will be a perfect way to celebrate why is his ex freaking girlfriend messaging him are you freaking kidding me are you kidding me um wow can we just keep adding to the list of drama right now lovebirds okay they weren't really like exes but they definitely had a thing going on um he's gonna come over here and call her and uh, i don't know how we should handle this situation maybe she feels like you know I don't know. Maybe she, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to send her a text message and tell her that we're in a relationship where we're no longer interested. Hopefully this won't, you know, cause her to like come on even stronger because you would think it wouldn't, but sometimes it actually has the reverse effect. So let me go and have him kind of clean up a little bit. I think he really could just use some alone time. You know what? Now that I think about it, Pace needs to go and he needs to zen. So we're going to go ahead and have him work out at the gym for a little bit, just kind of by himself. <sighs> As if this day couldn't get any worse, I assure you that it's it's not a bad day. It's just, ugh. He had a rough day at work, and then this freaking hoochie mama is like messaging him. We should go to the we should go to the Belle Vanvina and celebrate. Like, girl, are you tripping? Like, my <laughs> June will break you in half. Anyway, he's not that kind of a guy. He does need to set the record straight with her and probably like, you know. I don't know. We'll have to handle that situation at another time. I'm still trying to piece together what's happened with Brett. And I want you guys to let me know your theories. Like, I kind of have an idea of what happened. But, I mean, he no longer is employed. So, <laughs> he's asking Penny for money. So, obviously, he's in a financial situation. I don't know. The whole thing is just weird. So, we're going to actually have Pace go and challenge himself. He is going to do the hill challenge. I have no idea what the hell that is, but I am definitely eager to see what it looks like. So, here he is hopping onto the machine, and this is the hill challenge. Literally, I have no idea, but he looks like he's he's focusing. He's focusing on um what the hell? What the hell? Penny? Oh, she's feeling flirty. Um... 
Okay, well, obviously, Penny Bazaz knows exactly who Pace Foreman <laughs> is. Bag. And she's really, 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 really eager to get a hold of June. And June hasn't really responded back to her or anything like that because out of sight, out of mind. But it looks like Penny is trying to either, I have no idea what she's trying to do, talk to Pace about the situation, um, maybe get a hold of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know your theories because <laughs> this is just like, Wow, to me, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Um, but anyways, I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this part right here. I know it sucks because I just want to keep playing and keep figuring out what's going on. But you guys are gonna have to let me know, um, Eliza. You are one nosy business. <laughs> uh, you guys are gonna have to let me know your theories in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.